Taurus, what is going on, baby? They showing up on ignore us, not today, not any day, boo boo. No, that it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds, Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Shout out to every one of you who came through and checked and clicked this video. Thank you so so much for all of the loves, the bookings, and everything that you guys have been doing over the month of June. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for sending so much love and support. Um, we got a whole bunch of new decks. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have four new decks that you guys have sent over to us, okay? So thank you so much for all of the support. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading, um, only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my page, all right? Uh, link up with me through Instagram. Send me a personal and private message um, about the type of reading that you would like. Um, the booking list is in the description of this video and it's also on the about page uh, so reach out to me on Instagram if you don't have an Instagram just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com I'll help you get connected with me on Google Hangouts and we'll just get the going okay you know as I always do I always give thanks to the creator so let's just bow our heads real quick and just give him just thanks thanks Thank you, blessings. So, Father God, we thank you so much for just coming through and just being so creative and just our life, Father God. You have, like, orchestrated this storybook of just blessings and just, like, bountiful glory just around Taurus, Father God. We decided a year ago that we were reclaiming our name to fame and that we were changing the notion around our reputation and just taking back control of our life you know and just like relinquishing any type of negative vibes or energy that were around us like we ran away and we got away from that it took us a while but when we got away we said it was going to stay away father god and we're just like holding on to the power of just victory over our life because you know the victory is ours, you know, because people don't really understand how hard it is um, to fight, to be strong, and just, you know, people really don't understand what people go through sometimes. And one thing that we can say, we are fighters. We don't give up. We are determined. We're planners. We work hard, and we damn sure play hard, Father God. And we're just so happy to just the sun to be shining there just be better days in our life father god we just we don't want for nothing you know and we just pray and we just are thankful for everything father god so we are just abundantly happy for all of the blessings and you just being present in our life it's not like a second in our day that we ever question or doubt if you're right there next to us or if you don't have us covered we know it you know and we just that's why we always make sure that we take a second if even if we only got a second in our day which we always give you a lot more than that but we always give you thanks and give you praise father god because you're an amazing god and we just want to tell you that uh we would like to ask you for guidance in our life over uh the the month of july 2020 so if you could give us guidance for the sign is taurus you know it won't ignore us we took our power back, and we made sure that they're going to see us shine, Father God. All right? Hello. All right? So let's get into this. Amen. All right. Let's get into this. Okay, Taurus, you said ding dong. Okay. Listen. Ding dong. So give me guidance for my Taurus. Thank you so much for July. Thank you so much. What is this here? Perfect timing. Ding dong. Come on. Let them blessings come on in, Father God. Go ahead and ring the trumpet. I don't know if you guys have been hearing like a little ringing or a buzzing sound in your ear or something like that. Listen, that is your ears being fine-tuned. Your frequency going, you know, like a little staticky channel and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, honey, we about to move them rabbit ears around because we need to get the correct frequency, okay? We need to make sure that we, we got everything all the way in line because, honey, you about to hear a lot of good things coming in. Um, Yes. It says, now is the perfect moment 
for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Ding dong. I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm trying to tell you right now things are about to fall into your lap. Like please adjust your rabbit ear. Because <laughs> you about to hear a lot of good information coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of pages on the table. Okay. You sure? The King of Bows. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. And the Den of Snakes. Hold the fuck on. What the hell is going on? But it's like, I'm going to show you who the master is. See, then, now, now, hold on now. This is okay. Okay. Fighting in the Den of Snakes. Seriously? Seriously? They, oh, they said that you are the King Cobra, though. The King Cobra. It's just like a ball of confusion, you guys. This is um like the King of Wands. The King of Wands is an athletic, competitive type of person. Um, I don't know if you feel like there are a lot of people that are in constant competition with you where you're having to um um pull yourself from I don't I feel like you're 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 a boss energy but you you lower yourself sometimes to the level of your of people that are not your peers and right now is the time to separate yourself like even though I know that you like to chill with your comrades and stuff like you're the king you can't mingle with the common folks because they won't be able to separate you from the rest. Do you understand? Like you are the King Cobra. It's something about it's like you like to you like to get your hands dirty in your own sport. And I get it. I don't know if it's that this is your own sport and you've allowed other people to just get out there and out smoke. Okay, so this is it. You feel like you're in a whole den of snakes. And it's a competition. It's a competitive world. You feel like you haven't had to go out there and show your skills and your strength and fight in a long time. Because you haven't had to. Because you paid the cost to be the boss. You're, king, you're the king of the pack. Everyone can clearly see that you're the king of the pack. But you got these little young ones coming up under you that are le legitimately trying to come from your head. You understand what I'm saying? And so, like, it is a dinner snacks right now because you can't really trust these younger counterparts. Like, yeah, they're in your group and everything, but everyone wants to be king. So... Regardless of the fact that, yeah, you technically don't have to fight in your own sport because you've played long enough to um earn that rank. And sometimes you got to get down the fuck off of your goddamn throne to show motherfuckers why you sitting on that bitch. You understand what I'm saying? So these might be a lot of young little snakes and stuff like that. They feel like they can try to test and challenge the king. But I feel like. You, you, I, I feel like someone's coming out of retirement to show motherfuckers that I'm going to be wearing this crown for a long time. Like, y'all can't beat me at my fucking game. This is my sport. I run this. You understand? I don't know if there's been a lot of talk and a lot of chatter by people that think that, oh, I could do something better than you. Bitch, I would like to see you try. This is the moment where the king slowly takes his crown off. He don't even put on no armor. He go out there. Look, he beats his chest. Oh, oh. You understand what I'm saying? Ah, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm literally saying all of that. And like with his bare hands, like beating the shit out of every fucking person in the competition to show y'all y'all coming in there with mouth guards and elbow pads and all of this shit you coming out that y'all bare hands no armor 
thrashing the competition. Because I'm the fucking king. And if you want to show, I will show you a fucking show. Do you understand? It, 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 oh, uh, Taurus. What the hell? Listen, the Ten of Vessels. Happiness. There will be happiness on my court. Do you understand? There will be happiness amidst the throne. Okay? So, I don't know if this is like you guys are at like a sporting game, a sporting event or something. And for all time snakes, you had to come out here and show these young whippersnappers how the fuck to do this and what it really takes to be a king and to lead and to make sure that the well never runs dry and that everything, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I think it's like you are showing the young ones. It's like, yeah, I've been out of retirement, but I'm not rusty. I, I, If I really had to still go in battle, I could still fight, motherfucker. Don't sleep on... Don't sleep on these old guns. Do you understand? They still bust, bitch. Do you get me? It. I feel like it's perfect timing. Because that one little feat of you jumping off the throne and showing what a real master of the art of maintaining a crew, a pack, a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Like... That one little test and you showing your skill, it's going to incur. I mean, it's going to be an on pour into every child, every, you know, every man, woman, and child. It's going to influence the women to be attracted to better men. They're going to want a man just like that. You understand what I'm saying? That even in this old age, still can beat every, every fucking body out here. Like, you're going to encourage the young you little boys, I want to be like that. I want to be like the king. I'm going to be a king. I am a king. You understand? It's like, it's just that one little move. It just splashed down positive energy on your whole lineage. Uh, and it's just like a beautiful situation right here. Listen, the green woman. Uh, listen, uh, you done the Ooh, you got the empress on your line, honey bunny bunches of oats honey the empress is like mm -mm, let me go make him a play to eat like good gracious he done had a hard day out here you know he didn't actually came out and fight you know he, he he fought for us today and stuff like that the empress she's the one that is gonna take you home that's gonna wipe your wounds off gonna give you a nice place to eat gonna help you rest and massage your feet you know very comforting, very giving. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is very meticulous about every little thing, every little ingredient that she puts into what she's cooking. She wants to make sure that her man is well fed and that their lineage is prosperous and constantly growing. Like, this woman may even be um, expecting to bring you good news in the future. Um, something that's going to bring you great happiness and joy and that is going to Pour more love down into the family. What is this? The moon on the water. So I definitely feel like there's a secret, you guys. There go the bull. There's the bull. I want to say, and then, do, do you see, do, are these fucking, are these fucking storks and cranes and shit? Don't these look like little fucking storks and cranes? I feel like there's fucking pregnancy. Why am I feeling pregnancy, y'all? Because that look like it was damn storks or something that be on my other cards. And water, it's like, that's emotional. And do you see this egg right here? Do you Do y'all not see this egg right here? Am I, am I tripping? Y'all see it? Y'all, I really do feel like there is a child that's going to be... Because the... Because the moon to me represents between Pisces and Cancer. And we are in Cancer season, so I don't know if, like... 
there may be an addition to your family tree, you guys. I really do feel like this. The sun. I, there's pregnancy. I'm trying to tell you there's pregnancy. Yes, there is birth. There is new life. There is new day. There is a secret. There's a child that's about to be born, you guys. There's going to bring, it's going to bring happiness to y'all's family and things like that. And it's like, it's, <laughs> yes, the king of wands. Let the four of arrows rest. Oh my goodness. So I really do feel like after all of that sportsmanship that has been shown and everything. I feel like you entertaining the group, the family and things like that. Making everyone smile. Making everything. Like showing everyone what it is to be a powerful and abundant man. Showering happiness and love and enjoyment down on your family, you know? Are they saying the heart that meets the eye? I don't even know what the fuck that means. But she might be the heart that meets the eye. And I want to say, like, even through this new transformation and things like that, I feel this king of bowls, which is this king of wands and things like that, I feel, I don't know if you already have... Like three kids, this may be your fourth. This might be a, a, a transformation that I feel like you may not have been ready for or something like that or whatever. I, I feel like you were just getting down and do something just to see if you could do it. But I feel like this one might knock you out and you might have to take a little rest or whatever. Because you might have to sit back and think about like, oh, hold on. what What's going on? <laughs> how many kids we about to have now like I don't know but it's just like but shit that's the power of being a man you do create life you understand what I'm saying <gasps> oh excuse me excuse me excuse me I want to say like some, someone's like probably like four weeks pregnant or something like that Probably like four weeks pregnant. I don't know if like you've been having a lot of sex or something like that and you're tired and you just need a rest. Like the king of bows is someone very, very active. Very active. Very active. Wrapped up in happiness. Showing his sportsmanship. Showing his skill. Showing his body. His bravado and things like that. Maybe it may be perfect timing for a new child. All three of these child, the, these cards I'm seeing new birth, life creation. Yo. Oh my goodness, what is up with everyone getting this damn card here? I if y'all, what is this? The beginning is always today. Elegance is inferior to virtue. A slavish bond to parents cramp the faculty of the mind. So I want to say with this card popping out, I want to say that this person, that the father figure has a fear of creating new life right now. I want to say that, I don't know, because this man is older, he didn't think that he could actually create life. Yes, you can, motherfucker. Yes, you can. And I want to say I believe that this woman actually... This is something that she wanted, maybe something that you didn't. I really do feel like this is someone that's possibly an older man and didn't think that in old age. I want to say he might be in his 40s or something like that. I want to say that he was in his 40s, but he... I just, I, I, I felt like he felt there was competition. There was competition or something like that, and he wanted to get down there and... and and dust his boots off a little bit and show motherfuckers how he get down and shit like that. And it just poured all the extra. I don't know if you just. See, I ain't even about to say that. That's disgusting. I don't know if you just poured all your damn love into the situation with this empress here. But the empress, she's very fertile. That's what she does. She creates life. And I feel like she may be scared to tell you right now because I feel like it's going to. The Four of Swords is kind of like a separation a little bit. It's like where you feel 
would you feel like you you gonna have to take a rest and kind of think about something and go inside and kind of figure out how you feel about this transformation um this says the beginning is always today so i want to say the beginning of new life is today elegance is inferior to virtue so it doesn't matter how things look do you understand it doesn't matter how things look like this is our just little kooky house or whatever of just you know that's just how we walk i want to say that this man he feels like he's too old to have children again a savage bond to parents cramps the faculty of the mind. So, again, I feel like this person is a slave to focusing on the stress of what it is to create in life and to be a parent. Like, he's not... Child, I didn't skip this. I didn't skip this that. But he's not thinking about... I think that once this person gets over the thought of everything and he actually sees the... Listen... You see those storks and everything? Like, I'm trying to tell you, this person is going to be happy. This person is going to be happy once this child gets here. And this child is going to be a blessing. And intuitively, I really do feel like this woman knows that. And it's a perfect time for it. And it's going to bring happiness into the family. It's just like this man, the thought of it is exhausting to him. But I feel like it's the perfect timing. Look, inner alchemy, inner alchemy. Come on now. What is alchemy? Taking something that's in one form and using magic or whatever the hell, using the correct formula to create a different matter. Taking one thing from one thing and transforming it into another. Inner alchemy. So I really do think that even though this shit about to sit your ass down a little bit because you ain't see this shit coming, I don't feel like it's going to separate the bond i feel like you just need to take some time and just think about this transformation because i feel like once this child comes here it's going to transform you from the beautiful man that you are right now you're gonna go from a king to an emperor do you understand you are a real fucking man real man real honorable decent ass man way better than decent this empress is blessed to have you in her life. But this tenant, like, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It says, inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. I'm trying to tell you this, man. He feels like he's too old to have kids. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. Ooh, congratulations, you guys. One, two, three cards represent. And y'all can't tell me that y'all don't see this egg right here. Y'all see this right here. I'm not tripping, right? And y'all see those storks, cranes, or whatever. And y'all see the bull. Y'all stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Please stop playing with me, please. Don't play with me. Play lotto now. <laughs> yes. Give me guidance for this man who's about to be knocked out completely by the thought of this child. He's going to be like, a what? A what? <laughs> <laughs> I really do feel like when this baby gets here, he's going to be so happy. Get your rest now, because you're going to need it. Give me guidance for my Taurus. Ooh. The Ten of Pentacles! I'm done! I'm done. I'm not reading no more for y'all. Bye. 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 Your fear of creating life is really going to create a blessing for you. You you guys got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Like, come on. Come on. I'm done. I'm not reading for y'all no more. I'm gone. All right? Inner alchemy. Listen. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Why are you in fear of having this child? Like, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Y'all love is just a little bit different. There may be an age difference. And it, yeah, there may be a big age difference in between when y'all had the last child to this one. But this child is going to bring so much love and happiness into y'all's life. Look, as you can see, this is an older man and a younger woman. This, this, and that. You just listen. You just need to take your time and get your rest now, okay? Okay? I, I, I gotta go. I love you guys. Congratulations. Mm. Goodbye.